Welcome everyone to this week's live stream lesson. Thanks so much for joining me. If you're watching this live or as a replay, stick around for the whole time because I've got a really fun lesson for you planned. What we're going to do is we're going to be learning a classic tune, but a different take on it. Frank Sinatra recorded an awesome version of Jingle Bells, and we're going to learn Frank's chorus. This is a jazzy, easy to play tune. And um, what we're going to do is I'm going to demonstrate it for you right now, just to give you an idea of what you'll be learning right out the gate. Then I'm going to say hello to some folks in the chat. And then we'll have some instruction, about 20 minutes or so of ukulele lesson. We'll jam the tunes and then we'll end with a short mindfulness meditation, something to relax ourselves. To And uh, this week it will be a meditation with our instruments. So I'm really excited to share that with you. Welcome, everybody. Let me know where you're at in the chat, where you're coming from. Thanks so much to all the regular folks coming back again for another lesson with me. There is a song sheet for this lesson and it's available at the link down below. You can see Frank Sinatra's chorus, but let's just get right into it. You can listen to the original at the link down below. This is what it sounds like. This is what I'm gonna teach you. I love those J-I-N-G-L-E bells. I love those J-I-N-G-L-E J I N G L E B E double L S. I love those J I N G L E bells. All right, just a quick demo of what you'll be learning today Frank Sinatra's Jingle Bell Chorus. Now, of course, you can use this, uh, you know, back and forth with the original version that most people know. Happy holidays. I hope you're doing well. I hope that you enjoyed the eight nights of Hanukkah. Those videos will be up there for you to enjoy forever. And so will this one. So come on, folks, get your ukuleles in tune, low G tuning, high G tuning, baritone tuning, whatever your plan. Thanks for joining me. Let's say hello to a few folks in the chat, and then we're going to get right into the lesson. Akash Prabhu is here. Yes, we've started. Thanks so much. We got Fret Frontier from Chicago. I love your channel name, Fret Frontier. Yeehaw! Uh, Mark, Sir Yukalat is here. Good to have you here, brother man. Spaztec Warrior, haven't heard from you in a while. Good to see you here again from Canada. We got friends from Dusseldorf, Germany. Thank you, Klaus. Danke. Thank you for joining. Randy's here. Uh, Western Pennsylvania. Nikki is here from Oregon. Linda Murphy, always good to have you join us. Thank you. From Maine. Bob is in the house from, uh, from Wisconsin. Johnson, yes, and uh, Michael, of course, good to see you here from Portola, California. Thanks so much, everybody. I want to jump right into the lesson. There are links down below if you want to get this uh, song sheet in a printable form, but um, let's get right into it. What I'd like to do is take you through some of the chords real quickly, and then um, I'll offer a couple of strum variations and a couple of chord variations. This is not hard to play, but it really adds a nice spice to the holiday classic. Okay, so come on, let's review our chords. C, and even if you've played your chords a million times before, do this again with a, an intention of relaxing the hand. We're gonna take just two minutes to do a little bit of ukulele yoga. You know, relax the hand, float it up, touch the back of the neck, and strum that C major chord. Just pull the strings down to the floor. See how loose you can make your hand, how relaxed your shoulder can be, and take a moment just to really listen to your beautiful sound. Really listen to it. That's where the healing uh, magic of music comes in, is when we, we stop and we start to pay attention to the present moment, leaving our plans, our projects behind just for a short while, while we hang with the vibration of our music. The next chord G7. Okay. Now there are variations. We're going to show you variations on this song form. Okay. The other chords we're going to need are our C7. When you change from C to C7, always a great idea to, you know, when you lift up this ring finger, try not to lift it up too high. It just needs to lift up enough to clear the strings, keeping it relaxed. 
And then we're going to move to our F7 chord. Okay, so you play your F chord. Frets 2, open, 1, open. And we're going to add the ring finger right here to the 3rd fret of the 3rd string. And that alone is an F7. That's an F7 voicing with the open string on top. Soften your hand up and see if you can add the pinky. That's another way to play your F7 chord. Thanks so much for joining me. After this, you go straight to C. You may like to just leave the, thing, the, the pinky there or switch it out for the three. All right. Next chord, G7. And then C. Like I've said a couple times, there's going to be a couple of variations I'm going to share with you. But let's just get right into it. And um, let's play through this with strum number one. Simple strum, but a good one to know. Just keep in quarter notes, okay? All right, with a nice swing. Two and four are a little louder. Ready? Here we go. We go a one, two, a one. I love those J I N G L E bells. Keep on. I love those J I N G L E bells. Whoa. I love those J I N G L E B E double L S. I love those J I N G L E bells. All right, very nice, everybody. Okay, I see a mistake. This last line, I love those J I N G L E on the word bells. You switch back to C. Oops. Thank you for joining me and if that doesn't ruin the live stream for you and you're still enjoying yourself give your give this video a thumbs up we're gonna learn so much more right now about strumming if you're new to this channel tons of video content waiting for you so please click the subscribe button down below check the links as well if you'd like to join the patreon community big thanks to everyone supporting this channel uh, there are links down below and I appreciate your generosity and your support. There's all kinds of perks waiting for you at the Patreon page. So, friends, I want to share with you another strum. It's a basic strum, but one that you could really hang with all your life and really never run out of, uh, of good benefits from it, okay? What it is is a shuffle, shuffle strum. So it's moving the, the hand down and up keeping an accent on beat two and four. After we jam this a couple times, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back and forth between this and the classic song, Jingle Bells, switching this chorus right here. We can still play that, of course, and we can switch out Frank Sinatra's very, very hip chorus. You gotta listen to the original. There's a link down below. The background vocals are really what make it so. Sing along with me. Let's shuffle through this. Now, as you're shuffling through this, you may like to go a little deeper and see the bouncing ball going across each box four times. C, two, three, four. C, two, three, four. C, two, three, four. C, then the next line. C, two, three, four. C, and then you go to G7. Two, three, four. G7, all right? So this is a, a deeper way of thinking about the uh, structure you can see it's 16 boxes, 16 bars, four beats each box. Come on, let's jam and have a good time. Thank you for joining me. This is the shuffle strum. Very light, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, it's accenting beats two and four. It goes like this. Get ready to play. A one, two, a one. I love those J I N G L E bells. Oh, I love those J I N G L E bells. I love those J I N G L E B E double L S. I love those J I N G L E. On. Let's sing on oh, dash in through the snow in a one horse open sleigh or oh, the fields we go oh laughing all the way a bells on bobtail ring a 
getting spirits bright. What fun it is to ride and sing a slaying song tonight. I love those J I N G L E bells. I love those J I N G L E bells. I holiday J I N G L E B E double L S. I love those J I N G L E bells. Quick jam through the tune. How you feeling out there, folks? I'm gonna go through a bit more of some of the variations that we did. So I hope you enjoy this. You know, you can pick up the speed, of course. We're doing it slowly just to, you know, have a comfortable run through of it. You can swap this chorus out. And I believe if you listen to the Frank Sinatra original, he sometimes sings the regular chorus and sometimes sings this other hip chorus. Now, I want to share with you a couple of ways that you can make this a little uh, more expanded, okay, with some simple uh, but effective chord variations. After I do this, I'm going to take some questions and answers. Of course, we'll jam the tune first, uh, but we'll take some questions and, uh, you know, I'll offer some, you know, answers, and then we'll have a short meditation. I'm so glad that you're here. I hope you're having a happy holiday season wherever you are in the world. I'm so glad that you're here. Please give this video a thumbs up. Click that like button. And uh, it really is uh, something that helps YouTubers out. So please click that like button and um, or click the thumbs down button. That's cool too. Let me know. <laughs> um, I'm good either way. So what we want to do now is uh, take a look at some of the chords. All right. And um, I will edit this when we're finished. I'll put that last J-I-N-G-L-E bells. You go to the C chord. So a couple of simple variations, all right? When you get to the second line here, and we moved to the, I love those J-I-N-G-L-E bells, there's two measures of G7, right? You can have a measure of G, and then you could have a measure of G7. Okay, a simple variation, but it really does make a nice difference when you, when you listen into it, okay? Let's play the first two lines all right and for those g7s at the end of this second line let's play a g and then a g7 okay and let's listen for the difference here we go a one two already i love those j i and g l e bells i love those j i and g l g major i love those j i and okay you can hear it adds a little all right a little more um, harmonic richness a little more depth to the progression there are more complicated ways of doing this I don't want to get into those because I want to keep it easy for you so you can just get right into it and play this today the next thing we can do is uh, you know right here at this third line okay you play C I love those J I N G L E all right, so you move from C to C7. And now let's see about the first F7 without the pinky. G B E double L S. You can drop the pinky down for the second bar of F7. Or you could do it the other way around. And these are all optional, of course. This is what it would sound like. The third line. One, two. I, want, I love those J I N G L E. Double L S. I love those J I. Right? It just adds a little more variety to the harmony. You can also bring more attention to the harmony by doing what I just did, where I added the change, I strum the chord and just let it ring. So it sounds like this I love those J I N G L E B E. Double L S. I love those J I. All right, it brings a little more attention to it. We don't always have to be strumming. Sometimes it's a really good thing just to put some space into the rhythm. All right, so we got some good good numbers in the room. Thank you so much for joining me. 
and now some variations for the last line okay i kept it simple because i wanted this to be accessible to everybody but a nice thing you can do is on these last two bars uh, the last line the first two bars okay instead of just playing i love those j i n g l e bells Instead of just C to G7, what we're going to do is we're going to put a 1, 6, 2, 5 progression. What that means is that in the key of C, we're playing C for two beats, C for two beats, and then the open strings for two beats, A minor 7. You could also play a good old A minor chord, which would be two beats of C and then two beats of the A minor. Okay, and now instead of on the second box down here, instead of playing G7 only, we're going to play D minor for two beats. And then pivot over to G7. This is a doo-wop sound. Blue moon. You saw me standing alone. Sounds like millions and millions of songs you've heard from not only doo-wop, but jazz. It's a very, very common chord progression. And it's a way of substituting more chords into this. Let's do it slowly, and then we'll try to drop it in, okay? Check it out. It's two beats of C. Join me. Two beats of C. Ready. Go. Two beats of A minor. Two beats of D minor. Two beats of G7, and then C for four beats, and then you can let it ring on the last bar or keep on strumming. Now, why didn't I just write this in the first place? One is that um, I want, like I said before, I wanted to make it accessible, and two, I didn't want to give the wrong impression that there's just one way of playing this. Musicians, as you probably are already well aware, when we read a chart, we're reacting to the singer and uh, the style and adding or subtracting things from the harmony and the melody to make it appropriate. So there isn't one way to do this, okay? I'm just offering another thing uh, to add to this song, okay? So when we get to the last line, see about putting that doo-wop progression in there, okay? Once more, it's C, you could play A minor, or C open A minor seven then your D minor chord, and then your G7 chord. Or put a blues lick at the end. You see, you could do your own thing with it. Um, let's play the whole thing all together. Are you ready? Let me know in the chat if you're ready. I'm going to take some questions in a moment. And um, when you ask your question, please uh, put a couple of question marks before and after your question so it pops out of the chat and I can uh, answer your question. I hope you and your family have a wonderful, wonderful holiday season. Let's jam, okay? You'll hear me do a variety of things as we play through this and the rest of the tune. Let's just have some fun, jam, let it flow, and um, you can add those chord variations if you like, strum variations, do your thing. You ready to jam? Okay, let's do it. One, two, oh yeah, one, two, three. I love those J I N G L E bells. I love those J I N G L E bells. I holiday J I N G L E B E double L S. I love those J I N G L E bells. Bells dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. Over the fields we go, a laughing all the way. A lamb bobtail rain, making spirits bright. What fun it is to ride and sing a sleighing song tonight. Oh, jingle bells. Jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, I'm gonna jingle all the way. 
Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Oh, a day or two ago, I thought I'd take a ride. And soon Miss Fanny Bright was seated by my side. The horse was lean and lank. Misfortune seemed his lie. He got into a drifted bank, and when we got upside, I love those J I N G L E bells, keeping you on your toes. I love those J I N G L E bells. J I N G L E B E double L S. I love those J I N G L E bells. One more verse. Ah, now the ground is white. Go get it while you're young. Take the girls tonight and sing this slaying song. Just get a bobtail nag. Two forty as his speed. Hitch him to an open sleigh and crack, you'll take the lead. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Ah, last time, J. G L E Bell <laughs> All those J I and G L E Bells Those holiday J I and G L E B E Double L S I love those J I and G L E Bells Last line I love those J I and G L E Bells Slow it down I love those J friends thanks for jamming along how you feeling out there let me know in the chat how you doing I'm gonna share a couple of the things I did um, you know always adding some variations I come from a classical guitar and jazz background so sometimes I make things a little more complex let me break down what I did but first come on let me know your your questions while we have some time together so glad that you're here put a couple of question marks before and after and um, you uh you know i'll i'll answer them right now for you uh while we're waiting for that do me a big favor if you haven't already please subscribe to this channel there's lots of content waiting for you at my channel page check the links down below um, give this video a thumbs up and if you'd like to uh support in a different way there are of course uh Lots of perks waiting for you at the Patreon page. So grateful for all the generous support for my YouTube channel. I didn't mention this at the top, but next week will be the last live stream of the year. It's going to be a holiday play along. I've uh, edited and added more tunes to the holiday song pack. It'll be available for everybody free. It'll be a public post at my Patreon page and at my website. So come on, let's have a good time. We'll jam for an hour. Won't be much teaching. It'll just be a jam and we'll just go tune to tune. And uh, thank you so much for joining me. Um, Eric, thank you for your super chat. Appreciate y'all being here. Uh, please check the links down below and uh, get yourself a song sheet as a patron so what is the meaning of snow michael says i don't know man i guess when uh atmospheric conditions are uh are agreeable for snow it falls right <laughs> uh, what is the meaning of snow i think it's to uh to give me some exercise in the winter time so i can play with my toddler in the in the fluffy stuff does Rowan know Jingle Bells yet? He does, actually. In fact, I was looking for the little Jingle Bell. I was going to strum with it, but he strums. The best moments are never filmed, but yeah, he's strumming and we're singing Jingle Bells and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, he's already a pretty hip cat, I have to say. Um, 
Stu, what happened with the hackers last week? I have no idea. I have no idea why my audio feed was all wonked out. Luckily, nothing bad happened. So thanks for hanging with me. That was, was the uh, live stream equivalent of being caught with your pants down. You know, people hacking into the audio feed. But everything's cool. And I double checked and all everything's secure. So it's all good. Thank you. Yeah, David, after all this time, Frank is the man. I mean, I, I love all the holiday favorites, uh, but there is something special about the classics. And if you haven't heard it, man, Frank's uh, holiday album is just hip. It's really cool. Um, but I'm a fan of so many other um, so many other artists. Uh, thanks so much for all the generous Super Chats. Spurgeon, Gammon, thank you so much, Eric. Thank you, Barbara, uh, for your support. Any other quite ah the G7 riff okay Scott Rowe and Cher and Geraldine wants to know about F7 okay a few days ago and this will apply to both your questions a few days ago I posted a video called Left Hand Yoga did you see it it's at my channel um, and I offered a couple of different exercises this is another one of those exercises and. Um, the thing is, is that what you're going to want to do for the F7, okay, for Geraldine's uh, question, is start by first just going slow. And I know that might seem obvious, but, you know, you really want to just slow down, make your practice into an oasis from the very hectic world we're in right now, you know. Okay, just make it into an oasis. Okay, make it into a zone where there's no mistakes, there's only learning. Okay, and then to help you with this chord in every chord, you just thud on the strings. While I'm doing that, I'm not making a clear sound yet, just keeping it loose. Then I push just enough to get a kind of a sloppy sound. See how it's sloppy? Still keeping it loose. And I'm starting to tune into this part of the fingers. These part of the fingers, pushing a little more, just a little more, and I get a clean sound. And then take the hand away. My ukulele's just gone out of tune, but you know, you take the hand away, float it up again, and try to find it again. And just be real patient with yourself. You know, when you um, when you first do this, uh, it's it feels awkward at first. You may even feel like you're wasting time because we're used to you know rushing towards goals. But very often with music, I have found over like 30 years of studying it, you know, we gotta slow down and let the muse come to us. Okay. And that's not meant to sound woo-woo or far out. That's, that's how everybody learns in conservatory. It's how you learn how to make a souffle. It's how you learn how to change your tires. You just got to take one step at a time, okay? So just go slow and use this technique of the buzz scale. All right, you may like to watch that video I made a few days ago and practice it. Patience will pay off, okay? Um, the G7 lick, okay? A couple of things you can do with G7. When you're playing G7, and pardon me, my my uke is going out of tune here, but you slide back one fret. It's a very simple thing to do, but it's super cool. J I N G L E bells. Okay, now I went one, two, three, four, one, two, and don't have to do that much. You could just go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You know, I put in the extra syncopated rhythm. Watch this video again to get it. One, two, three, four, one, two, and three, and four. And the tricky thing is to move the hand, this hand, in conjunction with your strum. See? Down, up, down, up, down. You know, we're used to, you know, um, especially with music, you know, all these promises of learn it in a day and, you know, no, no effort required. You know, um, if the effort is enjoyable, who cares? You know, let it, be, let it be some effort. It's about making the effort enjoyable. And you can, you'll really get a, a real kick out of completing just one thing, going deep into one subject, and then you got it, you know? And one nugget of information is done and 
really absorbed. Okay, so we could go deeper into this, but that's just the brief teaching on that lick and a way of practicing it slow enough and enjoyable enough. Check in with your body. Where are my shoulders? I always practice, you know, with a cup of tea or something, so I take my hand off often and I'm in no hurry. You know, my practice chair is a place where I, I'm, everything is fine. You know, all the projects and plans, I leave them at the door and I just sit and I play, you know. So I hope that's helpful. Let's see if there's any more questions. Scott asked that question. And when I slide up to the fifth fret. Yeah, so what I did, Scott, was I took this G7 shape and I moved up here to five and five. And then I move down. And you can just do this with just these two strings. J I N G L E bells. Okay. Keeping that hand light is the journey. You know, that's what we're all, you know. I'm not exempt from practicing. Every day I love to just show up and pretend that I don't know what the heck I'm doing because honestly, I don't. I just listen carefully and um, let the music guide me. It's good to start from ground floor every time. It's humbling and it's a good thing. I hope you've enjoyed this so far, friends. Please give this video a thumbs up if you dig it. Click that subscribe button. And um, if there are no other questions, Let's have a brief mindfulness meditation. Remember, next week there'll be a holiday jam. I'm so grateful to everyone who supports as a patron. Um, there are all kinds of benefits waiting for you uh, at my page. And of course, I appreciate your support. It's very low cost just to support a little bit each month, and it really makes a big difference. So thank you. Merci beaucoup. Kap kun kap. Cheers, pasibo, merci beaucoup. Um, muchísimas gracias. Danke schön, danke well, and uh, thank you. So, friends, uh, for this meditation, let's use our instrument. Let's begin just by first coming back to our body and our breath. Okay, so just put your feet on the floor. And just for this, this will just be a few minutes, you know, just a few minutes can really reset the day and begin anew. So just for these next minutes, please leave uh, any projects, any plans aside, and just begin to bring your attention to your breath. You may like to close your eyes and just hold your ukulele at the ready. You can hug it. And we're not breathing in any special way. We're just bringing some attention to the breath as it is. So breathing in. Become aware of your in-breath. And just follow your breath as it is in this moment, naturally flowing in and out. Now pay attention to your breath, your in-breath, all the way from beginning to end. Pay attention to your out-breath, all the way from the beginning to the end. Developing and strengthening your powers of concentration. We're learning to concentrate in a relaxed way. Not with a tightness, but with a curiosity. Let's see if we can follow our breath all the way in, all the way out. Breathe in a way where you can relax your muscles, relax the muscles of your scalp, of your jaw and your face. Allow a half smile to bloom on your face. 
When you smile, you relax hundreds of muscles on your face. And when you smile, you are the master of your moment. Smiling to ourselves. Smiling with gratitude for all the conditions that allow us to sit here right now with food in our belly, with a roof over our head. How wonderful it is to sit and breathe. Before we turn to our instrument, just know that it's very natural for the mind to wander. That's what it does. But we're training it with compassion. This is a training, a practice. And just as we practice our scales, spending just a few minutes every day, concentrating on our breath and relaxing, we'll find that our concentration grows stronger. If any questions arise, just let them go. If any distractions come by, any sensations of the body or the mind, just allow them to pass and remain rooted in your breathing, in your smile. Listening deeply to this moment, Now with your eyes closed, just run your fingers up the strings in any way. There's no wrong way, no right way. We're just touching the strings of the instrument. And then you may like to, with your thumb or your index finger of your strumming hand, just brush the strings, feel it. Check in with your seat, check in with your feet. And just slowly your sense of touch is heightened when our uh, it's sharpened when our eyes are closed so let's just feel the instrument and just make some percolating noises sounds like bubbles doesn't it and just for a moment breathe in and out and just make some nonsense sounds. Does not have to make sense. Just stay rooted in your breath. They could be slow sounds. They could be fast sounds. Just explore the relationship between the sound and the silence. Right now, whatever sound you're making, release and draw your hands across the open strings to make one sound. Listen to it dissolve into silence. Just as we're staying with our breath all the way in, all the way out, let's make a game out of this. Can I listen to the sound all the way into silence? Let's do it. Just the open strings for now. Listen one more time. slowly open our eyes and as we open our eyes don't lose connection with the breath see if you can stay connected when we go somewhere else with our thoughts just come back with kindness if you were walking down the street and you moved your hand through the air and it went 
I'd call all my friends and say, you're not gonna believe this, man. I the air is making sound. And I know I'm gonna be called a hippy dippy trippy whippy, whatever, but isn't it amazing? You're moving your hand over this piece of wood, or in my case, carbon fiber, and it's making the sound pretty easy, huh? So when you practice your chords and your songs, it doesn't have to be a long process. Eventually, when you connect with this deep, you can drop in very quickly, just a breath or two. And then just make one sound. Stay with it until silence. You know, this is not a, a hard thing to do, but it brings depth into your listening listening deeply please don't confuse depth with seriousness all right this is a joyful thing you know? and then you go and you play your tunes whatever it is if it's the hardest rock and heavy metal tune or the most heartfelt baroque you know love ballad whatever you are playing you'll listen to it with so much more depth You'll also start to notice when the mind goes down funky directions. And you can stop, come back. You have an infinite amount of returns. All right. Did you notice how I could find the 12th fret harmonic without looking? I'm looking at you. It's because I've programmed it deeply into my body muscle memory. You know? And that's what I'm teaching here with this meditation. This is a suggestion, this is a practice, it's not meant to be perfect, it's a journey. Let it be fun. And as you play, anything that you play, you know? You know, I love those J, I, and let's play this one more time and just stay connected to the physical sensations, to your breath. And I wish you all the best. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for your support. Linda, Sue, thank you all. One, two. I love those J-I-N-G-L-E bells. I love those J-I-N-G-L-E bells. A holiday J-I-N-G-L-E B-E-L-L-S. I love those J-I-N-G-L-E bells. Thank you for joining me for another live stream lesson. I truly appreciate you hanging with my ukulele lessons. There's a lot waiting for you at my channel. And I am so grateful that you decided to spend some time with me. I hope you'll share this video with your friends. I'll be back next week with a jam session. We'll celebrate the holidays. Thank you very much. I wish you and your friends and your family a safe, healthy Happy holiday season, okay? Thanks so much, and I will see you all next time. Much love, all blessings. I hope that this meditation brings you much peace and much enjoyment throughout your day. Thank you. All blessings.